So you're spending a whole ton of time and money lead generating and now what do you do? You want to convert these things to sales, right? So I'm going to go through my five steps that I did working hundreds of thousands of internet leads in my career and also opening up 10,000 doors. How did I do that? Because I had to be able to convert these things to sales. So. In this lesson, I'm going to go through the five most important steps you must take with every single lead. And guess what? You can automate a good portion of it. So let's get to it right now. Make sure you're taking notes. All right. So now we're going to get into my five step blueprint, which I think is what I learned in my own busy, busy, busy real estate career here in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, at the height of the market uh, over a probably 10 year period where I just busted a hump seriously bad. And I got to the point where I was so fried, but I'm going to tell you right now, had I not come up with this, and this was just all by happenstance, I, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do to automate this stuff. Now, back in the day, when I started, um, we had a, I didn't have a CRM initially, but my first few months. And then I got one at a company, it was proprietary CRM. So I learned how to use it. However, unfortunately, the company had rules that we had to, I want to say, physically touch everybody. Now, it's a we were internet lead, so it was impossible to physically touch. But what that meant was there was no automation, right? So what I did is I went in and I created a whole bunch of templates. Because I could type fast, it helped. And because whatever was going on in here went down here pretty well, pretty pretty casual. The way I talk, the way I write kind of came out the same, so it helped a lot. But I had a series of, of templates. And at that time, it didn't text. All it did was email. So we just created, I recreated a number of templates and I'd have them ready. And I would give everybody a code. So when a lead came in, I would send him an email and I'd give him a code one, you know, in the notes somewhere. And then I would, the next, and I knew that in a few days, I could set a reminder. I'd have to come back in, find everybody who needed the next email, right? So when you're doing this, when I was doing this, and I still recommend this to this day, is that if you've got your database really set up, organized, like I've been telling you here to do, it's easy to go in and say, I want to find everybody in the same type and status, and when I can do that, and that, that needs a follow-up for me, that needs a call or whatever it is. So if it's an email or now it's a, nowadays a text or whatever it is, if I, at this point, if I had to do that, I would go in and I would just focus only on that group of people for the next hour. It's so much easier to make a call because you're saying exactly the same thing to everybody, right? And so if you can run a search and find those people in these groups, it's going to be so much more efficient for you because you're just going to go wham, wham, wham down. And you're hopefully only focusing on the people that really need your attention um, and start with them first anyway. And um, then uh, go to the next group, right? And go that way, way easier. Okay, so after doing this over and over and over again, I realized that I was able to close 42 sales my first year working internet leads by myself without an assistant with these leads that we're getting. And I was getting probably 100 to 150 a month at that time, um, I'm going to say early 04, mid 04, 05 ish. And of course, it was height of the market here and pretty much everywhere, right? So, how did I sell 42 homes myself? That was a hell of a lot, not knowing what I did. By the way, the first three deals fell out because I didn't know what the hell I was doing either, <laughs> right? We're just like everybody else. So, we really make sure that we have our systems in place. And I realized after a while, I was doing the same thing over and over again. So, you have these down. And you understand what the what's included in these steps, so that you know it makes it makes sense for you to go out and do them too, right? And you're going to have an epiphany, I think, over the next couple of days. Going, damn, that was easy. I should have figured that out myself, right? Well, I get it. We're all busy. We don't really know, right? Exactly what we're supposed to be doing. All right. So remember earlier when I said, if you're going to do lead generation, and honestly, I don't care where you're getting leads. It doesn't matter realistically because. If somebody says to you they're a referral, somebody gives you a name or whatever, um, it's a referral, even if it's a, you know somebody you met online or an open house, doesn't matter. You probably got promised them something. You promised them something. So that means you need to send them something, right? But if it's a brand new lead that's coming in, I want to make sure that you guys know that you pick up the phone, right? You need to pick it up and you need to make a call and, and or text, okay? 
really key. First thing you should do and don't, don't hesitate, just do it. Okay. Cause how are you going to know if they don't want your help, unless you call them, just pick it up, promise me that you're going to do it. Your next thing is to send an email. And at, at the very minimum, you're sending what you told them you were going to send them. That's key. You're going to send them what you told them you're going to send them. By the way, this part can be automated. The text part can be automated. Okay. The phone call realistically should not be automated, really. Could you have an assistant do it? Sure. Could you do a voice message drop? Sure. That could be automated. Do I love that? No. But I mean, could that happen? Yes. I don't like it, but if you want to do it, go ahead. You could do a combination where you make a call and then you have a follow-up uh, something, right? You can have that stuff set up. The next thing, really, really key. We get a new lead. Somebody says, this is, I, I just use Zillow because so many of us bought, bought Zillow leads through, throughout the years. But if you're offering an ad or listings or something, doesn't matter what it is, you want to make sure that you send them um, listings, right? Because that's what they care about. Whether it's a buyer or a seller, if it's a buyer, we're going to talk about what to send. But realistically, you want to send them something that is similar to what they signed up to get from you and not just once. This has to be over and over and over again. So in the day I used to send the MLS listings, I use my um, drip campaign for this now, okay? So and that's part of what I'm gonna tell you about how I got on the first page of Google. But so you wanna send them listings and not just once because they're still looking, right? So keep sending them, set it up so that we'll do it automatically, right? We're gonna talk about how. Long-term engaging drip campaign, that's different than sending listings. Now we're just trying to stay in front of these people and we're trying to make sure that we're engaging, we're instilling trust, we're educating if we can, we're offering help, we're you know giving them tips and advice and all that kind of stuff. And not just for two weeks, long-term is at least a year, at least a year. And I would say longer because some people will tell you they're not ready. You don't know half the time until they come out of the woodwork, right? So we need to get this long-term and then the last thing and most important thing is your follow-up and your responding quickly. Okay, so we're going to go into deep dives into all these steps. <laughs>